been a minute, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know you missed it. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? You thought you were all done <laughs> talking to us. Everybody ready? <clears throat> a little tired after that workout? Especially tired, but uh, it was a good workout. I felt good. Uh, came out, had a solid performance, so wait about a month and see, see how everything turns out. How is this experience like for you? Oh, it was great. You know, I've been working my whole life for this. I've been playing football since I was six. I'm 22 now, so it's, it's been a long time coming. I'm just proud I've made, been able to make it to this point. What do you think you had to prove today to all these scouts here on your field? What do you think you had to show? I just had to show them that I can come out here and compete. Uh, you know, I'm not the most talented guy. I'm not the most uh, explosive guy, the fastest guy, but I work hard and I, I have a good work ethic, and that's just what I want to show the scouts. That being the case, were you pretty pleased about what you did with the 40 and also your, your weightlifting? Yeah, I feel great. I feel, like I said, I feel really solid, really productive. Uh, maybe one or two things I could have did a little better, but overall, I did pretty solid. Can I ask Greg about this? You know, you've been building for this your entire career. As you got up this morning, was there any kind of nerves or anything as you, you tried to get ready for, for what you had in front of you? Because, you know, one performance could be right. the thousands of dollars. Surprisingly, uh, I didn't really feel that nervous this morning. You know, I woke up, I had my bowl of oatmeal, watched first take. <laughs> Uh, you know, just another day for me, and I came out here. I treated it like it was game day, um, so that's how I, that's how I approached it, and that's how I felt. Was it 19 in the weight room? Is that what? 18. I think 18? they got me at 18, so yeah. it was pretty good. Uh, I was trying to get that 20 mark, but I, I like 18. Mm -hmm. What about your 40 time? Oh, my 40. I'm not sure what my 40 time is. Uh, I heard 4 or 5, I heard 4 or 6, so uh, it was pretty solid. You know, I would wish I would have got that 4 or 4, but it was a good day. What has your training been like in this off season? Uh, it's been pretty good, you know, just really, you know, training for this test. Um, it's all about the drills that they put you through, and that's what I've been training for. I trained up a little in Austin and came down the last two weeks and finished down here with Coach Philo. So uh, I feel pretty good about my training, and I think I look pretty good. I know you easily could have gone to that Michael Johnson performance right. training center, but you didn't. You chose to stay in town. Why did you choose to stay here when you could have gone? Um, you know, they just... It's not really my style. They have a lot of guys up there, and I think the guys that I was working with, it's like maybe four or five of us tops, and then I came back with Coach Philo. It was another four or five of us tops. You know, I, was, I just wanted a lot of detail focused on me and uh, make sure I'm doing the best that I can do. And so uh, no disrespect to those guys. I'm sure they have all the, the good coaches and the trainers up there, but I just thought I feel like that was best for me. What did you work on the most during the training? Uh, just my 40 and, and uh, position drills and honestly everything uh, collectively um, I feel like I could have proved on everything and I did prove on everything from the start to the finish So I feel good. What would it mean to be the next player draft in the UTSA history? Uh, it mean the world. Um, like I said, I've, I've waited my whole life for this moment I've worked my whole life for this moment. So it would just be a testament to my hard work What was it like seeing your, your former teammates like David, Ashad, Brian Price all here cheering you on? Man, it's great, you know uh, Everybody's not too big time, you know, they come back and show a little love. So uh, you always want to see that from the guys that, you know, did it before you. Take uh, what you can. David texts me. Brian texts me. I talked to Ashad. So everybody gave me words of encouragement, told me just about to relax and, you know, do your thing. Did you get any feedback from them or any feedback from the scouts today? Uh, I got a couple feedback from the scouts. I haven't really talked to anybody else. Uh, I just walked over here. I talked to a couple scouts and then came to talk to you guys. So uh, I'm probably going to go talk to everybody else when I finish up over here. And Kenny Bias was here also. Yeah, Kenny was here. I've, I've been working with him for the last couple of weeks, too, so he looked good. And, you know, he came back out and showed people what he could do. Thanks, buddy. Thank, Thank you all. Thanks so much, Jarvion. Yeah, thanks, Jarvion.